Hey friends, my name is Mitch and I wrote an app for Royal Air Force or RAF The Battle of Britain 1940 Lion uh, Basically what it does is it replaces this thing So I really love the game however, I And I don't mind charts. I'm not fearful of hateful of charts however, this one is not easy to memorize and it's not bad over a period of like an hour but after like four hours you just get tired of this thing man and I I, I just did not memorize it it's it's a bit much for me to memorize especially when you have to go to part two uh, here for different stuff so what I did I just wrote an app um, really simple not an app it's just an HTML page so this uses HTML and basic JavaScript, like JavaScript 101 type JavaScript. And I store the chart in a JSON file, and I just use jQuery JSON, uh, get JSON, load it into a, um, you know, just an object, and then look up the object based upon what you choose. So, you have the number of, get this a little closer, you have the number of grouping in combat, and then as you change this, so let's change that to a 4, you'll notice the whole screen changes. So now you get a quick reference for what happens with grouping in the hunt box, grouping in the bomb box, and then grouping in escort. At the bottom there's a bombing box chart as well. As of this filming I'm still working on it, so but it should be done this weekend. So by the time most of you see this, it'll be done. So the green is full. So if you have full squadron, full grouping here, full grouper, reduced grouper, full squadron, reduced quadrant. So full is green and red is reduced. So basically, um, let's do this example here. Pardon the camera shake. So here we have some combat going on. So I have three grouper. And then four squadron here. Let's talk the combat values. We got two, four, zeros, four, seven, ten, fourteen, seventeen. So you got three and seventeen. So let's come up here. And we will go, let's see, total group up. Grouping is three. 3 and then combat value is 17. So now here are my results. It will roll the D6 for you and just display the results. So grouping and hot box. So we have any A's go to light loss. And by the way, if you want to see your dice roll and you want to see debug messages in general, you can from a PC, you can open up the console and I write a bunch of console messages, including my console messages will tell you um, what, what column you're in, the letter of the row that you're in. It also tell you the, the dice that you rolled. So if you want to like cross verify with this compared to that. So um, as you can see here, any A's go to light loss plus one VP. Any B's go to in-flight, C's go to light loss. If you have any reduced units, you would use the red instead. So, squadron, we got bomb box reduced, or in-flight full, etc., etc. So, if you have any bugs with this app, I've tested probably like 30 different types of uh, scenarios, and they all worked. So, if you find anything, just let me know. So, then you're just going to get your A to light loss so here is an A he's going to go to light loss put him over there so we have the grupa light loss so we have a B it says B goes to in flight no, B goes to in flight C goes to light loss so we got two victory points off this alright so let's go to squadrons I have a B. A B goes to bomb box or in flight. Um, I'm going to do bomb box. Well, now I'm going to do in flight. I'm going to go in flight. Uh, let's see. We got a C. 
C goes to in flight reduced. Flip him over. And I got another B bomb box for in flight. We're going to in flight. And C3, C is to in flight reduced. So this makes the game flow f better and makes the game faster, in my opinion. Um, so as you can see, when you change numbers, it will move and change the screen. So this is hosted on GitHub. Uh, the source is open source. Obviously, it's an HTML page. You can right click and view source and see everything. So uh, take a look and let me know what you think. Feel free to use this. It's on GitHub. I plan to do um, a web page with chip pools. I want to make a generic chip pool cup um, for all different games. So you basically would click a, or open a page and click a button for a particular game, and it would it would pull a chip for you. So for example, if you do a DVG, it would say one stress, two stress, or whatever, um, and then you could do that. So it'd be a generic chip pull cup for uh, a bunch of different games. So all you do is just put a JSON file with the different values to choose from and then the JavaScript would just choose a random one right from the from a from well from one to maximum number or whatever anyway so that's the sort of my next project after I get the bomb bombing box result uh, working the bombing box result does shifts so if you check if you check all 87s or no intercepts and you move this it'll tell you not only um, what column you're on, but the shifted column as well. And it does a maximum of three shifts as per the manual, etc. And then the results go here. I'll make the font a little bigger. So the, um, the top section is ready. So let me know what you think.